Okay, I'm doing something new. This series is gonna be a little bit interesting because in the past I've done videos on drones, on RC cars, on e-bikes where I've shared my experiences and my expertise of my research and just uh, doing things. And here I'm doing a video of something that I have zero expertise in. And so we're gonna do a series of watching me go through progress of BMX biking. <laughs> so why do you care? Because there's a ton of videos of people who are experts in BMX and obviously they can do it and some of them are great teachers, some of them not so much. And so I'm just this regular guy. I'm just a dad who's trying to pick up BMX at age 42. Okay. So last time I had a BMX was actually my first bike at age 12 and I've not touched a BMX since then until getting this guy, which is the uh, Redline Asset. So the reason I got this this bike is because I recently took my son to a uh, dirt jump park. And so he loved it and I loved taking videos of him and then, you know, eventually I got a little bored and I was just sitting on the bench on my phone. And so rather than doing that, I thought I'd join him and try it out for myself. And so I did buy this Redline Asset after a little bit of research on what to look for in BMX bikes. And I'll go ahead and list that a little bit later. Um, actually, we'll just do that now. <laughs> so. Oh yeah, before I go into that, so I was thinking of getting a dirt jump bike. So if I'm going to dirt jump, why not get a dirt jump bike? So I was talking to some people, doing some research, and apparently five to $600 can get your pretty junky dirt jump bike, okay? Whereas five to $600 can get you a pretty sweet BMX bike. So I was like, okay, if I'm going to ride a bike, Maybe instead of a 26 inch uh, dirt jump bike, I can get a 20 inch BMX bike and it'll be easier to store in the garage and then put in, I can put in the car more easily. I can transport it to the parks and I can ride these things um, with my kids who are still seven and nine. So they're not gonna be really going that fast. So maybe a smaller bike would be okay. And so I got in the BMX uh, scene or I'm starting to, trying to. And so this has uh, sealed hubs front and rear. It has a chromoly down tube and everything else is gonna be tensile steel. So this is entry level bike. This is not something that's super high end. Uh, I did get this for a pretty good deal. I think the MSRP of $530 was way out there. And I think uh, Redline probably just did that to make the price seem um, more reasonable when they do their sales. But their sale was pretty steep. It was 50% and I bought this for shipped to my door after tax it was 307. It was 265 plus shipping and tax 307. So today I am going to attempt my first bunny hop. <laughs> and this whole series could be super embarrassing because I might not get anywhere with this, but we're gonna go ahead and try. Uh, I did watch a lot of videos from Dugster Bob and I'll put a link in the description below. And he's helped a lot with reviews of various bikes and just the whole bike scene and kind of introducing me to it. And I did join his membership where I'll be learning how to ride this and do some basic tricks. So the idea isn't to be doing half by ramp, so I'm not gonna be doing X Games. This is literally casually riding with my son and I would like to be able to bunny hop. I would like to be able to uh, do manuals and I would like to possibly do fakies. And if I can do that within a year, I think that would be awesome. <laughs> so that's pretty much it. The goals aren't set super high. I'm just a regular guy. Hoping to show you that a regular guy can do it and you don't need to be an expert. And again, we'll see. <laughs> All right, first things first is size. This is a little bit bigger than it should be for my size. I am five foot seven to five foot eight ish, which means I should have a 20.5 top tube, but this here is a 20.75. But based on all the other specs of this and the value, I figured I would give it a shot and see how it works. So it does have a tapered fork here, does have a chromoly down tube, and they are sealed bearings on the front hub as well as the rear. And it does have an integrated headset right here. And so I do want to uh, mention that the chain stay, which is the length of from here to here, is a lot longer than it should be for a freestyle BMX bike. This is uh, generally, it's about 12.75 to 13.25, and this is 13.75. So it's quite long from there to there, which I understand, which means it'll be a little bit harder for me to manual, but it'll be a little bit more stable for when I do ride those dirt jumps. And the seat is adjustable here, and it does have brakes, and 
Oh, it has uh, V tires, and these are not uh, high pressure tires. These go up to about 60 or 65, if I'm remembering correctly. And it does have chromo under here, from what I understand. And that is the asset red line. Now that you know why I got this and a little bit about the bike, we're gonna try a bunny hop here in the garage and then we're gonna take it in this car. It does fit in the i3 with one of the seats folded down. If it's a 26 inch dirt jumper, it would not. So I am glad that uh, the 20 inch BMX bike allows me to be able to transport easily in my car rather than using my wife's. So we're gonna go ahead and try the bunny hop and you can laugh all you want. Um, we'll see, I might be laughing too. This is literally the first time. There are no other takes. This is gonna be it. No, I wasn't expecting this to be easy. <laughs> Let's go out and get a little bit more space and see if that does me any good. Uh, we are heading to Golden Gate Park. It's been a while uh, since taking the car. I normally ride my e-bike here just for fun or going through with RC cars and stuff like that. But we are driving because single gear on a BMX bike through the city isn't exactly a commuter. <laughs> I'll see you in a little bit. All right, what they say about San Francisco is true. There's always cars that get broken into. So we're gonna go ahead and leave the seats down. Hopefully people are trying to break in, we'll peek and see there's nothing to steal, and my glass will be fine. I'm not worried about people stealing stuff from my car, I'm worried about replacing the glass, which is hard to find, and expensive these days. All right, this is gonna be twice, at least twice as embarrassing as doing this in my garage. <laughs> not many people out here, but we will see. We will see. Thank you. All right, so I think the principle is to be loading and then kind of like a pre-compression and then jumping up with my feet and holding the bars to not necessarily yank, but to just have my arms straight and pull up as I'm jumping, as opposed to trying to engage with just my arms. I think that's the principle. I'm gonna try that. Uh, we'll see. The, the thing I'm having a hard time with is when I jump, my feet are coming off the pedals and then the bike's not coming up with me and I'm just landing in a hurting mission. <laughs> I kid you not, I know you've seen it too. I've seen people bunny hop 47 inches. That's like up to my shoulder. <laughs> How is that even possible? I don't know. Uh, I remember Doug was also saying that you gotta jump from your the balls of your feet and kind of have your kind of toe extended. You can't jump from flat. So I'm gonna try that a little bit too. bro <laughs> all right definitely a workout <laughs> new location we're gonna try manual <laughs> i do expect to loop out i'm trying to loop out so i can find a balance point but i just hope i don't hurt my head or my tailbone Let's see back and forth maybe I don't know 40 times I was able to get like a second <laughs> it actually felt pretty good so I think manually may actually be easier for me than doing bunny hop so we'll continue that we'll re I'll rewatch the videos kind of do some commentary and uh, see how it goes My butt is way up there. Look how high my butt is off the seat. Once I'm getting back into position and I'm about to loop out and I know it, 
I'm not sure what to do next. And I guess it's to, I don't know, bend my knees so that I'm kind of, center of gravity is a little bit more forward so I can come back down. I'm not sure if I have work on that. All right, that is gonna be it for the day because I am getting tired. And if nothing comes from this, at least it's a good workout. All right, so see you next time for part two, later.